That's a weird number to be delayed. 23? I'm number 23. There's 23 people on our team. Flight number's 1220. 12 plus 20 plus one plane, that's 23. <laughs> I'm just trying to start a new trend, I guess is the best way to put it. It's, it was working for a while, and uh, not so much anymore. Now boarding at the door, right? E as an Echo 6. Still got your ticket? I hate flying. My good alley might not, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I seriously hate flying with a like my, like a team. The heck they're saying we are Marshall freaks me out. Will the flight attendants prepare for takeoff, please? Remain seated until the seatbelt sign has been turned off. Flight attendants, please prepare for arrival. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. I mean, uh, it's a big ice sheet. It holds about 6,500. Uh, uh, it's going to be hot in there probably, so it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a little different. The ice is going to be a little bumpier. The pass is going to be a little floppier, so it should, be, it should be a good time. We knew it was going to be a nice rink and everything like that, and I mean, that just kind of adds to the whole excitement down here, coming to be able to play in a nice rink like this and everything, and I mean, it's just something to get used to. It's nice to get out here and get a skate, though, um, night before. You know, so we know what it's about. We know what it feels like out there. So should be ready to go tomorrow. Uh, I think we're definitely more excited than nervous. Uh, I think we're a little more nervous heading into the division finals because there's a lot more pressure on us to win that. Uh, we come here. We're not exactly the favorites. There's definitely nerves this time of the year, uh, but I don't think nerves are a bad thing. I think after the first 10 minutes or five minutes, for that matter, um, you know, guys will settle down and, and uh, you know get get rid of things. I've been chomping at the bit since we won in Austin. I think that's what the whole team's been like and haven't been able to sleep at night, but we're finally here, so I think tonight and our long trip today we should be able to sleep, so hopefully we'll be ready by tomorrow. That was our probably worst game of the year, if anything, where I mean, I don't know why we start doing it now at the most crucial time of the season. Buster pretty much did the whole thing. We four on four, Buster took it down, took a shot, perfect shot for a rebound, and Puck was kind of bouncing around, and the second shot, another rebound, and it was just kind of right there for when he put it away. So pretty much Buster made the whole thing happen. I just put it away for him. Just mistakes, easy mistakes. I mean, everybody can blame it on other things, ice and stuff, but the other team has to play on it too, so I mean, just weren't ready to play, and I mean, just I thought we were too happy to be here and not ready to get the job done. I just think today was the day we know how to play, and we've proved that we're one of the best teams in the league. So I think we just need to bring that tomorrow and forget about today. Good thing about junior hockey, there's another day, and so we have another game tomorrow. It didn't seem like it was there for us all night long, and um, you know our work, work ethic was a little bit. Uh, you know, it was definitely subpar for this time of the year. Uh, that's a tough, uh, tough one to swallow. You know, we got to act like we want to be here. Uh, being here is not good enough. Um, you know, and uh, you know we got a chance uh, to put ourselves in a good situation if we get a win tomorrow. Um, and it's a must-win for us. Yep, 
There's a lot of emotions running through in a tournament like this. I mean, a lot of stuff can happen, and uh, I mean, when you get your chance in there, you got to prove that you can play, and all of our guys can play. We all know that. That's why we're the two seed in this whole tournament. Um, and it also just is get some momentum to come back to our side. I mean, changing things up like that would maybe get some momentum for us. You know what? He was, uh, at times, he was definitely the biggest, uh, uh, the best player on the ice, and that's what you have to have this time of the year. You have to get a big save or, or uh, some momentum, and he did, uh, did a great job today. Today was a must win for us. And we just came out and we played Bobcat hockey today. Everybody was going, everybody was ready, and yesterday I just I felt like you know we were ready to go. Just sitting yesterday and watching the team play, I mean, it just builds up and builds up and builds up, and I mean, it's natty, you just got to give it all you have. Whether you have energy or not, you just got to keep going, you just can't give up. I mean, I'm glad to bring as much energy as I can to the team. I mean, that's kind of a role I have to play. This was huge, I mean, this is a must win. I mean, all our confidence is back with the boys right now. Uh, I mean, it looks like everybody's going now. We're all excited, and uh, I mean, it's probably the biggest win we had all year. It was a must win for us. I mean, it's uh, this time of the year we had to, uh, you know, we, we had to win today, and, uh, you know, tomorrow's another day, but, um, you know, today was good. You know, we played the way that we, you know, we're capable of playing, um, you know, and I thought it was a, it was a very good hockey game, and uh, it's a fun time of the year, and uh, that's a huge win for us. It was just like a broken play in, in our D zone, and Frankie D'Augustine got it, and they, uh, Got it along the boards and he made a nice move around one guy and passed me right in the slot and I just one time didn't win in. I just uh, I was just pumped when he when he signaled goal because he waved it off right away so I didn't know what he was what he was really calling or if he didn't see it right away so um, you know to, to come back uh, in the third there that's a that's a huge win. It feels really good because it puts us in the driver's seat to go on to the next round and that's what we're looking to do is win. Here we go. Me and Maxine up here, we're going to be taking you boys to Dickies. I get ornery when I'm hungry. And so far, we've had a pretty good trip. Uh, you know, we've seen all angles of Patton Road. Uh, you know, we saw great Hooters. Uh, followed by Dickies that we're not even supposed to be at. Everybody's getting a little ornery. Uh, you know, Omdahl, he's really, I mean, they don't call him the silent assassin for no reason. He actually just killed again. That's all I got. Uh, also, a shout out to Frankie D'Augustine. Uh, I mean, probably the best left hand man around. Run the boys.
going to be one hell of a waiting game out there. Uh, first things first, Amarillo. Um, everybody and everybody that's here uh, hates Amarillo and they said that if we chip pucks and get it deep they will not compete. Their D don't want to fucking compete. Okay. Um, the other thing, their backup goaltender starting today. Um, rebounds, rebounds, rebounds. Uh, I heard he gets fucking rattled very easily. Let's get on him early. We want fucking 40, 50 shots. Understood? Yep. Okay. Um, fellas, no better fucking time than right now, eh? Yep. Fucking right. Okay. Uh, no matter what fucking happens today, you fucking leave everything out there. You fucking battle like it's our fucking last day. Our veteran guys, this fucking group in this room, this is not the fucking last time we put this sweater on. Understood? Whatever it fucking takes for 60 fucking miles and we got a chance to fucking bring old fucking Robbie back home. We will fucking succeed today as a fucking group. Go out there. Let's have a fucking great day, man. Understood? Yep. Yeah. Everything at the fucking net. Everything we have for fucking 60 miles. Fucking rights, boys. This is the fucking oh, best yeah. time, eh? Starters. Starters up front. Philly. Buster. Schmitty. Let's fucking get her deep. Let them know we're fucking here. Fucking we mean business, hey boys? On the back end, Brucey, Coles, Berkey and that. Let's go, boys! I mean, we have guys that work so hard all year long, and um, you know you can't take anything of what this uh, this team has done this year. And um, you know, just uh, you know, thank those guys for for working that hard every night. And uh, over the course of, I mean, you know, it's our 71st hockey game. Um, you know, it wasn't meant to be. We hit crossbars, we hit posts. Um, you know, um, we we can't fault that we didn't uh, you know give it effort. Or, you know, today um, just wasn't meant to be. It's a special two years for myself. I mean, um, you know, a lot of these guys have been with me for my two years as a head coach. And, uh, just thank them for all the hard work. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't think it was a bad game or anything like that. I mean, I feel it could have been a three to two game if we didn't let up some, I don't know, shit. Like the first goal or the second goal or whatever on Berkey or bounced off his back and in. I mean, we just get rid of some of those goals and I think we would have been in the game the whole time. And obviously the last two goals were kind of just open netters and flukes, kind of just end of the game stuff. So I mean, it could have been a three to two game easily if we would have just left the bounces and everything like that. I mean, certain teams have different kind of guys you like, but I mean, that's a pretty, pretty special group here and it was a pretty fun year and everything like that. We had a lot of returners and uh, just kind of formed a brotherhood that I uh, can't really explain. It was just, it's definitely a good year and I feel like uh, we had our chances. This wasn't meant to be today. Hit a lot of crossbars, a lot of offensive chances. Uh, just a couple D breakdowns, but um, overall the whole year we got here. It was a great year. Uh, got through playoffs and it's just, it's tough, but you know, like I said, there's a bunch of brothers now. Be friends forever. There are no words to describe it. I mean, second year in a row, having this feeling, it's, I mean, 
it's going to help me in my future with everything, but it's just tough to deal with right now, and it's going to take time. There are no words to describe it, and it's heartbreaking, honestly. It's crazy to think about how hard I've worked for this and to see it all go down now, but I mean, I have family in that locker room now, so that's the bright side of it. I mean, we're all comforting each other, and I mean, going around giving everyone hugs, and I mean, it's just a bond that's never going to be broken. As hard as this is to uh, to deal with, um, you know that's the one thing. I, at least we, you know, we gave it everything that we had, and um, you know that's uh, kind of you know we, we want to build our hockey team around. It's hard work, and uh, you know we worked hard today and, and just didn't get bounces.